think for me being an athlete and I guess when I first started out in the sport and it got a little bit more serious, I was very much tunnel vision, one focus and that was results driven. It was on getting to a certain score, it was doing or being selected for certain competitions and nothing really, I guess, external to actually gymnastics really mattered to be honest. For me it was around about two years before Rio kind of started thinking in my head that Rio potentially would be my last competition and if that was the case then I need to have an escape route really, I need to have a, another focus outside the sport, I need to come out the sport in a position where I'm able to move on, move on with my life um, and for it to be moving into another positive as opposed to well, I'm retiring that's you know a negative perhaps um, and so yeah I started to put things in place and probably about two years before retirement I would say. I knew that there was uh, help and I knew that there was support available to me, uh, particularly through the EIS and through the Performance Lifestyle Advisor. I guess just get a bit more knowledge of, of what we actually had available to us and uh, just I guess having those general conversations as well, just that I hadn't really had, you know, what are my interests, what potentially might I look you know, like to do for the future. Little things like that that I hadn't really given much thought of, which seems crazy really, but I guess when your self focus is you know, winning medals and representing your country, it wasn't really something I'd ever thought too much of. I think the experience of retirement is it's very personal and it's very different for every single athlete. Um, and some athletes have had negative experiences, some have had positive, and for the whole I'm, I'm pretty pleased to say that mine was uh, a fairly pleasant sort of retirement um, and I think a lot of that was potentially because I knew I was going into something straight away. I came back from Rio I think August and in September I started university um, so it gave me a complete new focus to go into and I think that was, for me was probably one of the biggest reasons um, that I was able to make that transition quite smoothly. But my messages would be for the, for the younger athletes that are in elite sports um, would be to utilise their support services. You now there are support services through their governing body, through the EIS, um, that they can use and it hasn't got to be a decision where that's your concrete plan, but at least it's a step in the right direction, you've had those conversations, you've got something put in place. Um, and also just look at in the era of the times when is the best time to actually maybe do other things. You know, it hasn't got to impact your training. I think that's always a negative for, um, for the athletes, they always think that having something else potentially could impact my training and so that's the first thing to get dropped but actually you know research is telling us that it's the other way around and that actually having another focus um, having something else to look forward to that that actually then helps with your training so just go out there and try new things have those conversations